Hello everyone. Today in biology classes, we have a topic named nucleases. As the term nucleases is made up of two words, that is the nuclei and ases. The suffix ases means for the enzymic nature and so that nucleases is a group of enzyme which uses the nucleic acid as its substrate and generally they are of cleaving nature. So they cleave the nucleic acid that is the DNA or the RNA. The nucleic acid may be DNA or RNA may be in double stranded or single stranded form it doesn't matter here but the nucleases are known for their cleaving nature of the nucleic acids. So nucleases are further they are of, of two types and simply we can name them like exonucleases and the endonucleases. Exonucleases is made up of two words that is the exo and nucleases. Exonucleases are a group of enzymes which are uh, which are specialized or we can say that specific for cleaving the terminal ends of DNA either the 5' end or the 3' end while the endonucleases are the nucleases which cleaves within the DNA or RNA. So as the terminology is very uh, easy exo means outside and endo means inside or within. Further we have a group of enzyme that is very important in the point of view of the recombinant DNA technology named the restriction endonucleases and if I talk about some key points about the restriction endonucleases they are also called as the molecular scissor because of their cleaving nature within the DNA as the term endonucleases and they are found in prokaryotes like in bacteria and they are very important for the recombinant DNA technology and we can say that they act as a foundation of recombinant DNA technology and generally they provide two functions two functions are specialized by restriction endonuclease number one that is the cleaving of DNA that is it is an endonuclease by its uh, nature so the cleaving of DNA and second is the defense mechanism defense mechanism in prokaryote itself and defense mechanism uh, by restriction endonuclease is termed as the restriction modification system in bacteria or especially in E. coli restriction modification system so these are the two basic functions of restriction endonucleases and um, if I talk about the restriction endonucleases uh, here the restriction endonucleases the cutting by, uh, by this enzyme is sequence dependent. Cutting is sequence dependent in nature. It means they have a particular site termed as so cutting by restriction enzyme is sequence dependent. That means here is a particular site or a particular sequence when or, or at where the restriction endonuclease works or by its cleaving nature and so that this, uh, this site is known as a restriction site. And if I go for the introduction or general introduction of restriction site, restriction site is generally a small segment of DNA or RNA. Maybe the size may be of 4 to 8 base pair. And next thing that is it is palindromic in nature. The palindromic sequence nature so that the restriction enzyme can recognize the restriction site for cutting. And next thing the restriction site may be methylated or non-methylated. This is a very simple topic we have learned in our 12th or 11th examination. Maybe methylated or unmethylated or non-methylated. So the cutting by restriction enzyme is sequence dependent. And we have many examples of uh, restriction enzyme like eco ri and hen third etc. And further if I talk about the different types of restriction enzyme, so here three different types of restriction enzymes are here. That is the type 1, 
type second and type third. Okay, then the further classification of type 1, type 2 and type 3 we will add in our next video. So thank you for watching.